Hey guys, it's Glenn here with Glenn Art Ficionado, and today we're going to talk about organic and geometric shapes, and then we are going to make a rocket ship in outer space. So let's get to it. Okay guys, let's get started on the rocket ship in space. So, the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is the two different kinds of shapes there are in art, okay? There are what we call geometric shapes. Geometric shapes are shapes that are defined, so they have a name for them, like a circle, or a triangle, or a rectangle, or even a trapezoid, okay? They are sometimes man-made. You can think of, um, you know, a, a, a ball would be perfectly round, or a building would have rectangles in it, or windows, okay? The second type of shape that we use in art is called an organic shape. Organic shapes are shapes that are not defined. They don't have a name to them. And these are usually found in nature, okay? So if you look at these pieces right here, they are kind of wild. They go all over the place, okay? There's not a name for this necessarily. Um, now, it, I'm using it to represent fire. I'm going to stack these on top of each other. But um, you could, you know, think of water, think of uh, plants, think of leaves, think of fire, things that do not have a border that is defined, okay, that has a name for it like a circle does, okay? Those are, are our organic shapes. So for this project, you're going to need either, well, first you need a black piece of construction paper, either a white colored pencil, a white crayon. You could do a white paint marker if you have a paint marker. You could do white paint itself with a little tiny brush if you have that available. So whatever you have available that is white and can make marks on the black paper. You'll need either a glue stick or some white Elmer's glue. You'll need um, a pair of scissors. And you'll also need some different color construction paper. Now I'm using foam paper. Foam paper is really cool. You can get it at any um, hobby store, craft store. Um, we have it at school. It's pretty fun to use. It just adds a nice texture to it. Um, and it makes it a little bit more 3D. Um, but you can, if, if you don't have that at home, don't worry. You've got colored construction paper. And if you don't have colored construction paper, cut these shapes in white paper and color them in with a marker. That would be just as cool. Or crayons or colored pencils or whatever you have. So, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add some stars. Okay, this is an outer space scene. So I am going to add some dots. Now, what I notice a lot of people doing when they make stars is they tend to put them perfect distances apart like that, okay? Snowflakes as well they do that with. Okay, stars do not look like that in the sky. What we want it to be is very random. So maybe there's a bunch right here. Maybe there's a couple over here and down in here. Maybe they're all clumped together right there, okay? Maybe there's a few over here. Maybe there's a really big shiny star right here and we're gonna put a plus sign in it to show that it's really shiny, okay? Maybe here's another big one down in this corner and we'll put a plus sign in that. Now things in art tend to look more pleasing to the eye when you do them in odd numbers. So I've got two shiny stars so maybe I'm going to put a third shiny star over here to kind of balance it out. I'm going to put a whole bunch of them clumped together right in here and then over here in the corner. So random. The word we use for this is random, right? There's no rule to this. They're all over the place. Maybe there's some right up into that shiny star. All right, so there we have our stars. Now. We're going to use our geometric shapes to make our man-made rocket ship, okay? So the first thing we need to do is we need the cabin 
of the rocket ship, the main compartment where the astronauts would, would be, okay? So we're gonna get our glue stick out. Now, when you twist a glue stick, you do not bring it all the way out here. That's way too much, okay? You're gonna bring it back to where you just have a little bit right in there to use. All right, we're gonna set this down. We're gonna put some glue on the back. Just kind of rub it all over. And we're gonna flip that over and add it to our outer space scene. Now, I've got this right here, this little blue circle that I cut out. Obviously, you're gonna have to cut out your own shapes and you can make it as crazy as you want. It doesn't have to be um, like I do it. You could add wings and you could add all sorts of details. This is the window where the astronaut is gonna look out of, okay? So I'm gonna take my paint marker and I'm gonna put a couple of lines that go across like this. And the reason I'm doing that is to make it appear that there is kind of a shiny surface to it, like glass, okay? All right, like a reflection. Okay, so now I've got my green triangle. I'm gonna put that as the front. It's the very front of my rocket ship. I got it right here, and I'm gonna go, bam! There we go. All right, starting to take shape. Now, this shape right here is called a trapezoid. All right, and I'm using it for my rocket combustion chamber, okay, where the fire comes out. The way that you make a tri uh, trapezoid is you're gonna put uh, a line right here, two diagonal lines that come off of that line, and then another parallel line. So these two lines will be parallel. Parallel means they run along the same area together. And then you're gonna do a diagonal line to connect them like a, like a triangle, okay? And that'll make your trapezoid. So here we go. I'm gonna put some glue. Flip it over. Rocket combustion chamber is attached. Uh, rocket combustion chamber is attached. Now, the cool part about this art project, in my opinion, is the fire that comes out of the back of the rocket. Okay, we're blasting out into outer space. So we're gonna put the main piece down. Now when you make this, think of a leaf, okay? Think of a leaf and don't, don't be afraid to make lots of sharp turns and cuts with your scissors. There's no wrong answer to this. There's no definition for what fire um, the, the outline of fire should look like, okay? So have a little fun. Make the first piece nice and big and put that down. The second piece, I want you to pick another color that, that would associate with fire. So if this is like a yellowy orange, let's go with a red. So you're gonna add some glue to the back of that. And I want you to put it right on top. We're gonna add that right there, right in the middle. Oh. Okay, and with that one, I just made it curvy and wavy and all sorts. I didn't really think about it too hard, okay? Now, the third piece is gonna be kind of a brighter piece of yellow, and this one looks like um, a tiny little leaf or a teardrop or something. So we're gonna add some glue. We're gonna flip this over and place her down like that. And there we go, we've got our rocket ship that's blasting fire. It's shooting through space at a high velocity of speed. Now, what we need to do to make this even cooler is to put some planets, all right? So I've got my circles. Now, what are these shapes called again? That's right, geometric shapes. Geometric, geometry, okay? So, we're gonna take each shape. We're gonna put glue on the back. Now what I'm gonna do is, what I think makes art look really cool is when you break the border of your artwork with something. So instead of keeping all of this inside the edges of the paper, I'm gonna have it stick out just a little bit right here. See, it's sticking out, okay? And I'm gonna do that with this one. And you can use whatever colors you want. You can make as many planets or as little planets as you want. Well, I got some red paint on this planet, or some white paint on this planet, but that's okay. All right, we're gonna put that there. 
and then over, whoops, sorry guys, accidentally bumped into my camera here. And then over here, we're gonna add one more planet. I'm gonna put some glue, and I'm gonna put one more planet that's gonna stick out right about there, okay? And we're gonna call it done. Now, if you have colored pencils or markers or anything like that, you could take them and you could color in these planets. You could put some clouds and some land masses, you know, continents like, like the Americas or um, Africa, things like that. Like maybe, maybe this is planet Earth. Um, maybe this is Venus. Maybe this is um, Jupiter. You can make up whatever you want. Maybe this is planet Zarkon and you're not even in our solar system anymore. Okay, make it up, have fun. Now, the final thing that every artist needs to do when they've completed their artwork is to sign their name, right? So I'm gonna sign my name down here. And there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed making a rocket ship out of geometric and organic shapes today. And we will see you next time. Take care.